hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to show the total items in the cart and in the wish list the total items count in the nav bar so here's our output so here in this cart and wish list i want to show the icon over here that how much uh, products are there in my wish list so here i have only one item in my wish list so i should be able to see here one and in my cart i have three products so i should see three over here so let us start with that coding so here is my nav bar so first we'll just add a span tag over here and say span class is equal to let's say badge badge bill and for now it will be zero we will fill this data using a jquery ajax and similarly for the wish list also and in this thing we need to give a class name so that we'll see later first let us check the output refresh and it is over there let me just give some background color over there i'll say bg success then for this it's going to be bg primary refresh and here it is so give a class over here say cart count copy that and let us give it for wish list also wish list count so first we'll do the cart and in my js file in a custom.js just go and create that class over here first create a function and say load cart function so in this what we are going to do is we are going to give a ajax call say jq ajax and the method is going to be post sorry get method because we are going to get data not we are not posting any data over there and the url we are going to give load cart data and make sure you're giving a slash over here or when you are on the other pages right like slash category then it will search from the slash category itself so there you will get error so remove we are not sending any data or data type not required so now let us create this url copy and go to your web.php so directly say here route get and then it has to go to the cart controller cart controller class comma to the cart count function copy that and go to your controller and here we'll create a function say cart count no arguments and here we will get the count of the total cart items say dollar count let's say cart count equal to cart model where the user underscore id is equal to the authenticated users id and then you're going to say return response json here's the status or you can say count dollar cart count add a semicolon over here and this thing is going as a response right so just take this and go to your js file it's over here and let's say alert response dot count let us test it 
so this function we have created right so once on the page reload we need to call this function so i'll keep it on top so once the page loads it will be called and then whenever we are adding uh, item to the cart and all that time we need to call it so let us refresh and check object let me just console log that thing say inspect go to your console and refresh so here it's uh, something like this is not what we want go to your controller and let us check okay so i have not gone the count over here yeah not look perfect refresh and here it is you can see three so i have three items right so once i remove this i need to call this function once again so it will show it here two so before that let us just append it in the nav bar or here okay so this cart count copy that and here we are going to paste it so say jq html set and here this is a class cart count and we we'll just make it empty first that zero value which we have and now we are going to say html jq html set paste that and here what we are going to say that value response dot count copy and paste it will comment the console log and let us check refresh and it will be visible over here no it is not just try with val comment this out refresh okay so here this dot is missing so it is a class name right so we have to give a dot over here in the beginning i just missed that so now let us just go and check our output and refresh so this well, let us try again with html because we did not give this dot when we did with html so this should work i guess yeah refresh and here it is you can see that three is or here cart count so once you go on home or anywhere now it has been reloaded right so that data will come over here then remove this console log this function i need to call it when i am removing an item from the cart and when i am adding a product to the cart so here you can see add to cart button so in this success i need to call that function once so load cart and in the delete cart item we have a page reload over here so not required it will automatically load because we are we are reloading the page right so on page reload this function is being called so this thing is done right so we'll do the same thing for the wish list also so just quickly paste that and change the function name to load cart to load wish list copy that function name and call it on page reload load wish list and in this we are going to send a different url load wish list count okay i had gained data for this yeah not a problem we can just change that load wish list count copy and paste below that just copy the same route and replace the url get wish list count so at this time we are going to the wish list controller wish list controller wish list count 
copy that and go to the controller here function dollar wish count is equal to wish list where the user underscore id is equal to the authenticated users id of count function then return response of json say count dollar wish count so copy this thing and go back to your js file and here we have response dot count it's the same so just this class name we need to change so go to your navbar and here you can see wish list count class we have so go and says control d and select both of them and paste so load wish list copy that and when you add a item to your wish list here it is add to wish list we need to call this function load wish list and when you are removing an item from wish list i think we have a page reload over there yes so not required so now you can test it save and let us go to our browser and refresh close the terminal and you can see here it is our cart we have three and wish list we have one let us go to that place and you can see over here so once i remove this you are going to get zero over here okay and you can see we have zero in our wish list and in our cart we have three so let us test this with uh, adding an item without page reload so here now the page is not going to reload but this thing has to change so when i say add to cart okay and this thing is not changed just refresh and check if it is added or wait it's already in cart right so it did not add over here okay so let me just try with headphones and say add to cart added and you can see it became four over here let me add to wish list add it to wish list you can see it became one over here so it is working perfectly guys so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to show the cart and wish list count in our navbar so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again